Hi, this is Eddie Hearn, and you're watching Lights Out. This is Fessel Khan for Lights Out, proudly sponsored by Spartans Law. We're here in London, ahead of Saturday night's huge card at the Wembley Arena between Katie Taylor and Karen Kara Habayel for the Undisputed Lightweight Championship in the world. Featuring on that card is going to be a few of Mark Tibbs's fighters, one of them being the Romford Bull, Johnny Fisher. First of all, Mark, good afternoon, buddy. How are you doing? I'm very well, thank you. Good man. Mark, I was looking at your Instagram the other day, is kind of like rolling back the years to when you was a pro. I mean, I've got to say, you very dapper, handsome looking fella back in the day. You must miss being a pro box at times, right? No, 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 no. I, um, I don't miss it, no. How can I miss it? I mean, you got to, got to uh, live in the moment, and not you? And uh, that was then, and this is now. But uh, it's lovely to look back and uh, have a look back. And um, yeah, it's nice to look back. It's nice to look back. Well, let's talk. Fond memories, absolutely. Let's talk about your guy, Johnny Fisher, in a good fight on Saturday night against Dominic Musil, who's got a, a, a pretty respectable record. Yeah. Uh, first of all, what type of a fight do you think Johnny's in on Saturday night? Well, Johnny, it's up to it's up it's up to Johnny what, what how, how, he, how he makes this fight. I mean, uh, he can have it messy and, and untidy and uh, run for bully. <laughs> we can't take that title away from him. But um, going on Johnny's last performance uh, um, when he took. Uh, on, I think his name was um, his last fight. Uh, his fight, Marcel. Forget his last fight. Now, anyway, his last fight. Uh, he 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 actually he dissected uh, his opponent very very well. Got his distance on point, and uh, and that's why I expect him to do this 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 opponent on on Muzil, on Muzil, to tell the truth. So so I expect Johnny to uh, to, to you know don't mess about, but. Um, Stay nice and alert, and get behind the left lead, and uh, and find find two shots that, that uh, he does really nice, Johnny Fisher. And uh, I won't mention that. You have to wait till Saturday night. You can't be giving away the game plan too early, Mark. Um, when we talk about this heavyweight division, it's unrightfully so. People talk about Fury, Usyk, Joshua Wilder, but you look at this kid, Johnny Fisher, a young fighter from Romford, selling thousands of tickets got such a good following on social media mark is it fair to say that you've got probably one of the most exciting talents not just in the heavyweight division but also in the in in in, in boxing right now in the uk 100 percent he's uh johnny fish is a, is a very very uh diligent worker he's a he's a trainer's dream he's a promoter's dream uh he's got loads of energy he's got a very very smart brain and uh i'm really happy how he's learning his craft very very well he's uh He's very, very good. He knows how to uh, take a round off here and there, and uh, he knows when to put the pressure on. So he's he's learning all all, all the time. He's learning, and uh, he's just come back from uh, obviously. I think you, you guys know from Joe Joyce camp in Las Vegas. He had about three weeks out there, which I think done him in good stead. He was in good company, and uh, yeah, he's uh, he's he's getting good seasoning, very good seasoning, Johnny Fisher. So yeah. I'm lucky, and uh, Matram are lucky, and uh, we're all lucky, yeah. You've been in the heavyweight game for quite a while now. Obviously, you worked with Dillian White in the past. Um, a guy I know you know pretty well is Derek Chisora. I can only look back to the White Chisora build-up. Um, yeah, in your time, you know, uh, as I said, you know Chisora pretty well, and he's got arguably the biggest test that he'd probably ever face, that third fight with Tyson Fury. Now, you know the game, you know the craft. How does a fighter like Chisora manage to beat Fury, what does he have to do differently? I mean, they fought twice before, Fury won both fights comfortably, but what does this Chisora do differently this time round? He's got to land one on the whiskers of Tyson Fury, flush. <laughs> and uh, that's a difficult task in itself. Uh, Derek Chisora is very, very experienced at what he does. And, uh, and you know, I, I've had Johnny Fisher in with, with Derek, and uh, I, before I took him there, I said, listen, you won't... Uh, you won't understand what I'm talking about until you feel it, until you've been in there. Been in there. And after the first round, he came back and said, "Yeah, I know what you mean." But um, so, 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 uh, he's going to give uh, the fans a good, uh, a good show that night. But he has to land uh, on on the whiskers uh, when when Tyson's not expecting it, and that's a difficult task. He's got to clip them old whiskers and uh, rattle that brain to uh, to do damage to Tyson Fury, and that's a difficult task. But listen. Uh, he, he knows how to get on the inside, he, he knows how to work the body, uh, Derek Chisora, but he's got to, obviously he's got to um, 
tee up the whiskers if he's going to do any damage and that's going to be a difficult task against the, the finest heavyweight boxer in the world at the moment, Tyson Fury. Yeah. Many people I've spoken to in regards to this fight will say, well listen, if Fury can take Wilder's best punches, what does Derek Chisora do differently? Now, how do you set Derek up mentally going into this fight, given the fact that he's lost twice already to Tyson Fury? Yeah, I mean, he, 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 uh, you can't set Derek Chisora up, you know, no trainer can. He sets himself up, he gets himself uh, motivated. He's just, he's just been around for so long now. But um, he will need a, a good guy uh, in his corner. I think he's working with uh, his old coach, uh, what's his name? Not Don Charles. Don Charles. So, so Don Charles is the best guy he can have in that corner right there because Don Don Don's got a Don's got a he's got a, a a good connection with him. He knows he knows he knows what to do with him. He knows his limits. So he's got the best man in his corner right there uh, in Don Charles for sure. And no, Derek Derek will uh, Derek will wind and g, g himself up for that fight. He's uh, he's that he's off that experience. He can do that. So no, he won't, he won't. You know, both of them, they're, they're both uh, going to get motivated and give the fans what they want. I'm, I'm confident they will. Just want to get your thoughts on a couple of topics in boxing right now. A guy that you've worked with a number of times, Billy Joe Saunders. You know, he's sort of been teasing the fans on social media that he might make a comeback. Um, there was rumours are that he was going to fight John Ryder for his comeback fight, but John Ryder's now signed to fight Zach Parker. You know, you was in the corner that night with Billy Joe Saunders when he fought Canelo. What do you expect Billy Joe Saunders to do next? Do you think we can see him come back into the ring? To be fair, um, I've not even given it any fault. And I've heard one or two of the boys in the gym say that oh, Bill's back in the gym and whatnot, but um, I've not gave it any fault, uh, my friend, to tell the truth. And uh, time will tell. Time will tell, yeah. Last but not least, um, I know a topic that's been so hot in boxing right now is the whole Conor Ben situation. Last night it was revealed that he relinquished his boxing license. Uh, Mark, I just want to get your thoughts on what you make of the Conor Ben situation right now. Uh, well, it's a bit, uh, it's a bit, it's not, not, I wouldn't say messy, but um, it's out there. It's, out, it's all out there now, so I think uh, the public are just waiting for a response and I think they've been promising a response from, from Conor and we'll see, we'll wait and see. So. I'm not too sure what to uh, <laughs> what to say. I think that I only know what all you guys know. So, so what you're aware of is what I'm aware of, and uh, it's uh, interesting. And I wait in anticipation to see what's uh, see what uh, Connor's next move is. Yeah. Okay, Mark. Well, thank you very much for thank your you. time, and we wish you the best of luck for Saturday night. Thank you for thank talking you. to lunch. Appreciate. It. Good man.